So, is it going? Okay, I see the red light. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, where I share with you the best tips and tricks to ace your exams and get the grades you deserve. In today's video, I'm going to reveal to you the psychology professor's viral study techniques that a students love. These are the study techniques that have been scientifically proven to help you improve your memory, retention, and understanding of any subject you're studying. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, stick around until the end of this video because I'm going to show you how you can apply these techniques to your own study routine and see the results for yourself. So let's get started. So where did these viral study techniques come from? Well, they were actually developed by a psychology professor named Marty Lobdell, who taught at Pierce College in Washington State for 40 years. During his career, he noticed that many students were studying for hours and hours without seeing any improvement in their grades or performance. He realized that they were studying in a way that was not effective for their brains and that they needed to change their habits and strategies. So he created a lecture called Study Less, Study Smart, where he shared his insights and tips on how to study more efficiently and effectively. So what are these viral study techniques that Marty Lobdell teaches? Well, there are actually many of them, but I'm going to focus on the top five that I think are the most important and useful for any student. Number one, study in chunks. This means that you should break down your study sessions into shorter periods of time, usually between 25 to 50 minutes with breaks in between. This is because your brain can only focus and retain information for a limited amount of time before it gets tired and distracted. By studying in chunks, you can avoid mental fatigue and boredom and keep your motivation and concentration high. You can use a timer or an app like Pomodoro to help you manage your time and track your progress. Number two, use active recall. This means that you should test yourself on the information that you have learned, rather than just passively reading or listening to it. This is because active recall forces your brain to retrieve the information from your memory, which strengthens the neural connections and makes it easier to remember in the future. You can use active recall by asking yourself questions, summarizing what you have learned, explaining it to someone else, or teaching it to yourself. Number three, use flashcards. This is a great way to implement active recall in your studies. Flashcards are cards that have a question on one side and an answer on the other side. You can use them to quiz yourself on key terms, definitions, concepts, formulas, or anything else that you need to memorize. Flashcards are also very portable and convenient, so you can use them anywhere and anytime. You can make your own flashcards using paper or an app like Anki or Quizlet or use pre-made flashcards from other sources. Number four, use quizzing. This is another effective way to use active recall in your studies. Quizzing is similar to flashcards, but it involves more complex questions that require more thinking and reasoning. Quizzing helps you check your understanding of the material and identify any gaps or errors in your knowledge. You can use quizzing by taking practice tests, doing past papers, using online quizzes, or creating your own questions. Number five, review regularly. This means that you should revisit the information that you have learned at regular intervals rather than cramming it all at once before an exam. This is because reviewing helps you consolidate the information in your long-term memory and prevent forgetting. The best way to review is to use spaced repetition, which is a technique that involves reviewing the information at increasing intervals of time based on how well you remember it. You can use spaced repetition by using a schedule or an app like Anki or Supermemo, which will automatically remind you when to review. So these are the psychology professors of viral study techniques that a students love. I hope you found them helpful and that you will try them out in your own studies. If you do, let me know in the comments below how they work for you and what results you see. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them as well. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, happy studying and good luck.